Patients with pneumonia can have intense pulmonary and systemic inflammation that potentially leads to impaired gas exchange, sepsis, and organ failure. Glucocorticoids can help mitigate these effects. But whether glucocorticoids can reduce mortality in patients with severe community-acquired pneumonia is unknown. A new trial evaluated the effects of early hydrocortisone treatment on mortality in these patients. In this Phase three multicenter double-blind randomized control trial, 800 adults who had been admitted to the intensive care unit with severe community-acquired pneumonia were assigned to receive intravenous hydrocortisone or placebo in addition to standard state-of-the-art treatment. Hydrocortisone was given daily for a total of 8 or 14 days, depending on the patient's condition by the fourth day of treatment. Placebo was given according to the same regimen. The primary outcome, death from any cause by day 28, favored the hydrocortisone group with a cumulative incidence of 6.2% as compared with 11.9% in the placebo group. Most secondary outcomes also favored the hydrocortisone group, including death by 90 days and the cumulative incidence of endotracheal intubation by day 28. No safety issues emerged. The cumulative incidence of hospital-acquired infection was similar in the two groups, as was the cumulative incidence of gastrointestinal bleeding. The authors conclude that in patients admitted to the ICU with severe community-acquired pneumonia, early treatment with hydrocortisone was associated with a lower risk of death by day 28 as compared with placebo. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.